Today, I'm going to show you guys how to design a clean looking search bar inside of Roblox Studio. Check out our store, gfxcomment.com. Uh, we have a ton of free assets for you guys to use for your game. Uh, we have a lifetime access pack right here. So if you guys enjoy the content and you want to show some support, link is going to be down below. Thank you guys for all of your support and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, I am glad to have you here. So today is more of like a design exploration uh, kind of thing. So I want to try and design a clean slash minimal search bar. This is just more of some design fun. Um, but if you guys do find a practical use for this UI, that would be, you know, awesome. Anyways, let's begin. We're going to start with a new layer. We're going to use our rectangle and we're going to increase the corner radius significantly um, to, I would say about 35 to start off. We're going to see how this looks. So uh, make sure your fill is active. You can use any color, but stroke is going to be off. So the first option, this so icon with the red slash line, we're just going to uh, create our search so I will say like this right center our object I'm going to increase the corner radius um, I'm gonna go for like 45 and I think this is much better okay now I'm going to right click go into our options in here I'm gonna go for a gradient uh, we're going to adjust the angle and I'm going to select this color, uh, 37373F, right here. And the second color is going to be slightly lighter, so 42424A. And as you can see, uh, here is a nice uh, frame for us to work off of uh, right here. So. I think I'm going to add a stroke, one pixel, and I'm going to lighten the color very slightly. As you can see, it is like barely, barely noticeable. And uh, we could also copy this layer and I'm going to remove the effects and change the color here. We're going to go uh, click on the background color. I want to make this darker and then I'm going to go filter blur and hit Gaussian blur rasterize and we're just gonna make a very subtle shadow so blur by like seven pixels or so I'm just gonna hit OK and I'm going to lower the opacity to uh, 35 this right here is what we have so far next I'm going to add a search icon grab this icon drag some rulers so we can center all the stuff this should go not here about right here I would say lower the size and we're going to uh, change the color so we go for a color we go for um, something about like here you can see the hex code we go for a stroke one pixel again and I'm just gonna go slightly darker very very subtle here we have this okay so next we're going to type our text font area or you could use source sans pro uh, right here search any item we're going to use the same color and also copy the effects and paste so I also have the stroke effect dot 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 um, I'm actually going to make the color lighter here kind of like this and decrease the font size to 24 um, actually let's try 28 and place this like right here center as you can see right so this is what we have so far 
looking pretty clean. Um, I'm going to change our background color, however, to, ooh, this looks pretty nice. I'm just going to stick with this right here. Um, let's add some keybinds for our, uh, our search bar. So new layer, we're going to use our rectangle once again, bring up the ruler and go for like a shape like this, right? Uh, corner radius, maybe 15, like so. Lower the size and change the color. We go for this kind of color, like so. Move this over here. I'm going to copy. So I have two. Uh, take our text. This will be control, center, control, right here. And I think, okay, the stroke, lower the opacity, 35 or 25, much better, okay, um, 63, we're gonna square out the frame here, this will be control A, for example, to search, as you can see, so control group, here we have A, control A, um, might be a little too tall here for the shape, so I like this more right here. All right, so here is our design. We're going to make this inside of Studio. All right, guys, welcome, welcome back. Um, let us begin. Yeah, we're gonna start off with a screen, GUI, as always. This is like ritualistic at this point, but um, search. Uh, let's add our frame. We're gonna go for the canvas fit parent. Um, you can change the property here. So X scale and Y uh, to one, both one, like so. Uh, offset zero, for example, in anchor. Um, this time we're going to keep the background uh, visible. And our color is gonna be this color right here. So I'm gonna go background color and paste. Here we go, looking good so far. So first step to remaking our search bar is to add a frame inside of our canvas and call this our search. Um, the size is gonna be 1220 by 142, like so. Let me go for a corner and the corner, I'd say scale, let's give like point, point 0.3, point, no, actually, <laughs> uh, eh, yeah, point 0.3, okay. And our gradient here, I'm just going to copy, uh, pretty simple. Add a gradient right here. Uh, angle, angle is gonna be negative 90. I'm gonna go ahead and paste the color, second color right here. Let's go ahead and paste. And also add a stroke, a very subtle stroke. Uh, thickness like 1.5 we can try that let's go for a lighter color um kind of like this right here i'll say that looks pretty good it's very subtle you can barely barely see all right so the thing with uh this icon is uh it does contain the stroke so i have exported uh the icon exactly as it is. So icon right here, anchor, we go ahead and paste. 
the ID, the size is 54 by 54. We go fast scale to add the uh, const constraint here. Zoom in and the padding is going to be 70 pixels on the side. Uh, the top and bottom are just centered. Uh, so Y, make sure it is at scale 0 0.5. And now we have our search, I mean our uh, text to add. So text, I'm going to go for align by the left, background off, I'm going to go text scale. And the uh, text color, ACACBB. I'm going to go text color, paste. Search any item dot dot dot. Perfect. <laughs> um, okay. Text is gonna go like right here, right. And obviously we have a stroke as well. Uh, the stroke color is three two three two three C, right here. So text stroke color uh, thickness like 1.2 <laughs> and this is what we have so far I think it's looking pretty good um, let's add our hotkey shortcuts uh, thingies so the size 107 107 by 63 we're going to add a corner, uh, like 0.1, no, it's 0.2, little, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.25, okay, the color is right here as well. You can uh, pause the video, take a screenshot, or just pause it, look at the hex code uh, for the colors, so we go paste. Now. Uh, same text, change the alignment to center, center, and type control. I'm gonna go for bold now. Okay, so it's just gonna go right here and lower the transparency for the stroke, like 0.7, I'd say. All right, that is fine. I'm gonna hit scale. Places like right here because we have the A. This will be square 62. Eh, that's fine. Okay. These are going to go right here. All right. This is our search bar. Uh, we're going to scale it. So search, make sure it is scale. All right. Okay, our text is not scaled. All right, our text, scale. Now, let's take a look and you guys can see, I think it looks pretty good. Scales accordingly to any device. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, drop a like or a comment or both down below. Anyways, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace out.